Hey there, church family. It's Pastor Wayne here. Welcome to week five of Live Sent. And uh, today is the call ahead. You know, if, if God's calling us, he's calling us ahead. He's moving us forward. Uh, and today we want to take the time to, uh, to process where God might be leading us and continue to discuss the idea of, you know, calling. God has a call on all of our lives. He, he put us here. We're alive in this moment for a purpose and on purpose. And you, here's the deal. You might be called to, uh, to, to global missions. You might be, you know, you might feel called to start up a new church. You might be called to start a, a Bible study for some coworkers, uh, some discipleship conversations, um, at, down at the gym. Um, you might be called to to go to your next door neighbor and uh, share the three circles with them. Uh, but no matter what, um, you know, God is calling us. He's calling us forward. And I share often, you've heard me teach about the, the eight C's of, of history, right? And, uh, and it begins with, with creation. And then it's, it's uh, you know, creation is, uh, is interrupted by this, uh, you know, this corruption, right? And uh, Adam and Eve fall into sin. And, and uh, you know, we see the, um, sadly, this, the, this catastrophe, it's a cleansing uh, with Noah and the ark. And, uh, and, and we see confusion after that, right? Where, where uh, they build the Tower of Babel, they're still trying to be God. And so there's creation, corruption, catastrophe, confusion, and then God establishes a covenant with Abraham to establish a family tree that the Messiah would be born into. Okay, and then after um, after this uh, covenant is made, Jesus eventually is born. Uh, you know, a few thousand years later, and he goes to the cross. Okay, that's the that's the fifth C or the sixth C. The seventh letter C is church. And that's where we are at. And then the eighth C is consummation. That's when Jesus comes back. So we literally, our, our hand is on the door. Um, the, it, is, it is prime time for Jesus to, to return. And, uh, and so before he returns, he placed some, some, some people in this church age to do what? To reach as many people as possible for the gospel. And he chose you and me. He knew that of all of the people, he would choose you and me for this time. In the same way that he chose the 12 disciples, think about this, he chose them to, for, the, for the early stages of building the church. And he chose you and me for this latter stage, for the final stage the final leg of the race if we if this was a relay race you think about it you know number one is really fast right number two and three they're steady they're strong number four is this final burst of energy this fourth person in the relay race is so critical to to bringing home the trophy bringing it back across the finish line and i want you to think of this you're in the fourth place in this relay race the disciples handed it on to people, and now it's been handed on to others, other people in the middle part, and it handed on to others. And guess what? We now, we are in the church age. This is our leg of the race, and God is calling you and me to run strong, to run the race that he's marked out for us, to be his 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 uh, um, mouthpiece in this world, to go out and to live sent to live called, to, to, to get out there. And so here's the thing that we've got to be willing to do that. We've got to be willing to be called ahead to get out of our comfort zone. Even sometimes if that means leaving what we love, leaving what we love so that we can go and continue the good work of God. And so just want to encourage you today as we wrestle with these things, allow God to just call you ahead so that you and I can finish this leg, the fourth leg of the race in this relay race, that we can finish the race, cross the finish line, and Jesus is coming, and he's put you in the final leg of the race to, to run strong, to get out there, reach more people for him, and we've got a race to run. So I want to encourage you, see yourself in this race and ask yourself the question, where has God put me? 
who has God called me to reach? And, uh, and, and will I answer the call? All right. Well, thank you so much for your dedication. Thank you so much for coming every week in this, uh, in this Live Sent study and allowing the Holy Spirit to just grab a hold of your heart. And my prayer is for that you and that I, that you and me, that we will answer the call of God. There's so many more people to be reached. So much hurting and brokenness in this world. So many that need to go from sinner to saint, from lost to found. And so let's do this together. Thank you so much for, for being here tonight. And, and let me pray over you. Father, I pray that you will help us to answer the call to live sent. God, I pray that we will not just uh, hear these things, but we will be gripped with the conviction of the Holy Spirit. God, that there are more people to reach. There are more Bible studies to start, more gospel conversations to have, more churches to be planted, more people to be reached all around us. Lord, help us to not be satisfied with just the few that we have. God, help us to, to work, to work hard so that when the master comes, he will find us being faithful and working hard. And so, Lord, I pray that you would help us to finish this leg of the race strong. Thank you for my brothers and sisters in Christ. Thank you, God, that we are called together to run this race. I pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Well, thank you so much. I hope you have a great, great evening together as you wrestle about this whole idea of living set. God bless you.